so symbolic uh, of Christ's love for the church, and I uh, just have some really neat meaning to it. So um, she's going to incorporate that part. Her name's Scarlett. She's my cousin, actually. Okay, the, this part is uh, called the Hakaba, and uh, you're supposed to be going around the Hakaba. <laughs> Just bear with us, we have cars so we don't forget everything. <laughs> In a Jewish wedding, this may come from Jeremiah tw 31, 22, a woman shall surround a man. Seven is the number of days of creation, and the wedding ceremony is the creation of a new household. Seven is the number of times the phrase, when a man takes a wife, is found in scripture. Joshua went around Jericho seven times, and encircling her groom, a bride brings down any wall that may remain between them, seven being completion. And now, Rhonda, you are submitting yourself to Yeshua, Jesus, and Ba. This is my Boaz, and who I have loved. Scripture reading is from uh, no, okay. Ruth 3. One day, Naomi, her mother-in-law, said to her, My daughter, should I try not to find a home for you, where you will be well provided for? Is not Boaz, with whose servant girls you have been, a kinsman of ours? Tonight will be, we will be winnowing barley on the threshing floor. Wash and perfume yourself and put on your best clothes. Then go down to the threshing floor. But don't let him know you are there until he has finished eating and drinking. When he lies down, note the place where he is lying down. Then go in and cover his feet and lie down. He will tell you what to do. I will do whatever you say, Ruth answered. So she went down to the threshing floor and did everything her mother-in-law told her to do. When Boaz had finished eating and drinking, he was in good spirits. He went over to lie down at the far end of the grain pile. Ruth approached quickly, uncovered his feet, and lay down. In the middle of the night, something startled the man. And he turned and he discovered a woman lying at his feet. Who are you, he asked. I am your servant, Ruth. Spread the corner of your garment over me, since you are my kinsman redeemer. That's what Bob is. Your kinsman redeemer. <laughs> the Lord bless you, my daughter, he replied. This kindness is greater than that which you showed earlier. You have not run after the younger men, whether rich or poor. And now, my daughter, don't be afraid. I will do for you all you ask. Actually, in Hebrew, what was happening was what she was asking him to propose. That's what in Hebrew, what, what that means to me. She laid at his feet and he took her prayer shawl and he covered her up with it. And so when he throwed it over, he was accepting her proposal. So actually, Ruth was proposing. And it's kind of like Rhonda in her story. <laughs> <laughs> Treat me not to leave thee, or to return from following after thee. For where you go, I will go, and where you live, I will live. Your people shall be my people, and thy God, my God. Where you die, I will die, <coughs> and there I will be buried. The Lord do so to me, and more also, if but death parts you and me. I take you into my house, under my covering, to take care of you and love you. I am your kinsman, redeemer. Baruch Ata Adonai Masiniak Hatan Va Kava. Grant perfect joy to these loving companions as you did in creations in the Garden of Eden. Blessed are you, Lord, who grants the joy of a groom and a bride.
this is a part of the Jewish ceremony where Bob is going to stomp the glass when he's finished. They're going to put it in the bag and Bob's going to stomp it. And when, the, when he does, the, everybody needs to shout Mazel Tov as loud as you can. Because this is the last time Bob's going to be getting to put his foot in. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to explain to you what it means when this happens. The fragility of the glass suggests the frailty of human relationships. The glass is broken to protect this marriage with the implied prayer, as this glass shatters, so may your marriage never break. Reminds us that love, like glass, is fragile and must be protected. The glass is broken to protect the marriage with an implied prayer. May your marriage last as long as it would take to prepare this glass. All right, everybody, get ready. How <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.